So now we're gonna install the dash mount in the actual truck itself. So you need a 10 millimeter socket to take the dash out. Uh, a small screwdriver, this is a Phillips number one, uh, to remove the actual plastic piece itself. Um, and depending on how stiff the clips on your vehicle, you might need uh, a panel tool. First thing we're gonna do is tap the 12 volt outlet to power the USB. So we're gonna unclip this. So we're gonna pull it up through just to give us a little bit more real estate on these wires. Just tape off. We're gonna open them up a little bit to give us some room. To tap into these wires, we unscrew the gray section of the PosiTap. Put it through, so this is the green wire, and in this forerunner, the green wire is the positive. Now we'll take the wiring harness that comes with the kit, remove the little edge pieces that protect the wires during shipping. The red wire will be the positive and the black wire will be the negative. Unscrew the red tail cap, run the wire through so the threads face the bare wire. The wires will actually contact the metal inside the PosiTap. Once the threads start locking down, I push the wire in while tightening. All right, so now we're tapped. Preparation for the next part of the install, I'm going to push the wire now back through and then simply replace the clip and tuck this part of the wire up behind. And we'll be able to see this later once we pull the rest of the dash off and pop it back in. Place the screws. Now we need to remove the actual uh, radio and upper dash piece. And we already have our 10 millimeter out. We're going to just do these four bolts that hold the brackets on. Grab from underneath, just kind of anywhere under here. Just pull forward and then lean or then tilt the top forward because we got a screen here we're going to put a rag on the shift knob and just kind of rest the entire dash down here we're going to be replacing this plastic piece with the lab ops mount and to do that there are two small screws on either side This just simply slides out. And the dash, the lab ops gear uh, will slide in. But before we put it in, we're going to dig and find the wiring harness. We're going to make sure we bring it up all the way behind on top of this and in between the vents. And then we'll plug in the red to the positive and the black to the negative. To install there are indexing ramps along the side that these wings slide into. And it just clips in exactly like the factory one. And the only thing you gotta do now is replace the screws. You don't have to tighten these very tight. These are just to hold it in place while you're installing the dash. Now we're ready to put it back. So we're gonna go in the top.
and push down. The trick to this while you're installing or tightening down the first one is just to push up. You'll see it'll slide a little bit. And if you do that, it helps push against the plastic of the dash mount. There's no um, LED on the USB itself, so it's always a good idea just before you get too far to double check. Plug something in and make sure that you got power, which we do. So we're good to go. And to do that, you have to have oh, the ignition switch on. Right, yeah. So the easiest way is to actually just plug something in and test it. 